So this chair needs both a bumper and a finger rest. Now when I look inside here, can you see the little threads inside that hole? This is one without threads. The ones with the threads are screw-in bumpers. You need to have a selection of screw-in bumpers. If you want to use a little bit of Loctite to hold them in, you can. But the screw-in bumper goes in just like a regular screw. And you screw it in. Sometimes the little plastic's off. And there's the little caps that you can get and just replace that little plastic top. Put a drop of glue on there, push the cap on, and then squeeze it. If you don't have a screw-in bumper to fit it, you've checked all your screw-in bumpers, then you can use a regular pull-through bumper that's used on other types of shears that don't have the screw-in bumpers. What you're going to do is close your shear and kind of look at where the width is between the blades. Do you see that? So you want to close the shear and look at where the width is between the blades. That's about the size of the bumper you need. So I'm looking, I'm going to need a pretty big bumper to go through here. And this one may be the right size. I'm going to close it and see. I might be able to go one down size. Best to keep them organized. Not like me where I have two different sizes in one case. But that's the next size down. That looks like about the right size. You pull it through the hole. Sometimes you can pull it with your fingers. Sometimes you might want to have a needle nose pliers to pull it through with. At the point at the point where it's not pulled all the way through, that's when you want to put glue on there. What type of glue? Um, I find nail glue works well. Nail polish, um, clear nail polish will work. Um, Gorilla glue, super glue. All, you know, there's all sorts of choices of glues. But you're going to pull this in. And if the tip up, oh look at there, that tip overlaps. I should have gone with the bigger, bigger bumper. Do you see that? Can you see that in the video? Maybe not, but the tip's overlapping. So I'm going to go with the bigger one. Go back to the, my bigger one. And sometimes this is trial and error. Okay, the big one actually is the right size. If the big one had been too big and I didn't have one the right size, I can always trim the bumper down to make the tips meet. So I'm going to take, right, let's say I've glued this in. You're going to take... going to take a razor blade or I like some old cuticle nippers and trim it out. Now you can trim it all the way flush up here but if you want to leave a little bit of a tail, let me show you what we can do here to make that bumper stay where it won't go anywhere. You can take this lighter, melt the back side and you'll see when that, that flame catches on there, blow it out and get a piece of metal of some sort and mash in and make a plug and that bumper is not going anywhere. Some cat times the shear needs a bumper, but there's a bumper still in there, it's just broken off. That's when you need a pick of some sort that you can go in and push it out to get into it. And that's replacing a bumper.